We have been in the pandemic for nearly two years. In tonight's Verify, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker looks ahead to a new normal. Today's claim comes from one of the many questions people still have about COVID this far into the pandemic. It is, the pandemic as we know it now will eventually transition to an endemic, much like how the flu surfaces every year as time goes on. Our sources for this verify are Dr. Junda Wu, the medical director of San Antonio's Metro Health District, and the chief medical advisor to the president of the United States, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Here's what Dr. Wu had to say. Every new infection gives the virus a new chance to mutate. And so we might have no new waves or we might have smaller waves. We would expect them to be smaller, but it really all depends on whether we have other surprise variants. We may not have big disruptive waves like we've had. We likely won't. It doesn't mean they're impossible. In a recent interview with NPR, Dr. Fauci said, if you look at the history of infectious diseases, we've only eradicated one infectious disease in man, and that's smallpox. That's not going to happen with this virus. I think that's what most people feel when they talk about endemicity, where it is integrated into the broad range of infectious diseases that we experience. So the answer is yes. The pandemic as we know it will eventually transition to an endemic. But the more people that get vaccinated, the faster that change will occur. For the Verify team, Jeremy Baker, Kent's 5 Eyewitness News.